Hello again, <clears throat> it's Jordan Lambert here again. Um, I just want to talk a little bit more about <clears throat> um, binary genderism, or whatever you call it. Sounds about right. Um, <clears throat> I was just looking up a little bit on how, uh, what, what, a little bit more about what, what they would call it. Like sometimes they call it uh, non-binary. Uh, believe, refers to someone who does not identify as exclusively male or female or the other word might be androgynous and I'm not familiar with that one really but <clears throat> but there are it says here that non-binary is the spectrum of gender identities that are not exclusively masculine or feminine in exclusivity identities that are outside the gender binary a non-binary gender is not associated with a specific gender set expression such as androgyny, just like I mentioned. So, um, maybe I should look that one up. I had it here, but I'll try again. Just pop that up there and go to the new tab, put it in here. Okay, um, <clears throat> this looks new to me. Drogeny is a combination of masculine and feminine characteristics into an ambiguous form. Androgyny may be expressed in regard to biological sex, gender identity, gender expression, and sexual identity. So, so anyway, um, apparently it looks like the, the girl from uh um the lady from what's her face uh from narnia yeah it looks like her right there that one double meaning of androgyny and fashion oh <laughs> guess she's got whiskers on her lip guess that's natural well so do i i have i have a beard and mustache and sometimes i let it grow and sometimes i cut it feels feels good either way but that's the reason why I cut it, though, is because sometimes it doesn't always feel good. Sometimes it's nice to have a smooth shaven face. So anyway, I feel like those are, didn't I? Androgyny. Well, I guess that's just a real short update there. So thank you. Bye.